My name is Lucas Titole, and this is my story. My childhood was very funny. I was a, a naughty little boy before my accident. I was just uh, like a, a normal boy, you know. I like to run around in the streets with my friends. I like to play soccer. I was, yeah, I was almost uh, spend most of my time outside. But yeah, and then I went to my early stages of schools, and that's where I made a lot of friends. And I was, I was doing good in my lower school levels. After my accident, then everything changed. I had to adapt to the new life of Lucas being on a wheelchair, you know. But the best thing I did in that time was to accept myself, you know, as the way I was um, after my accident, and then that helped me to to keep uh, moving on. Oh, what happened in my accident is. Um, it was early in the morning on Saturday, 1998, 25 July. I was helping a, a train driver to change the railway line. The train was moving slowly, and I tried to, to jump on the train. Then I fell underneath the train, and then that's how I lost my legs and my right arm. I didn't have so much on the life to think about. I didn't have so much goals, you know, in life by those times. So it was easy for me to to change and adapt to the new Lucas. I started to join uh, wheelchair tennis in 2005 uh, because before that I was playing uh, wheelchair basketball for the national team of South Africa and also I played uh, wheelchair rugby and then in 2005 then that's when I first picked up the racket and then started to practice, I attended uh, some few local tournaments yeah and then I made it from there and then I was uh, called up in a national camp that's where it all started in 2008. Then I first uh, represented uh, South Africa in a World Ten Cup, which was held in Italy. Yeah, it was a good experience for the start. Yeah, and then from there, and then I started to, to take the sport seriously. Uh, when I won in 2013 the US Open, you know, oh, that was my biggest win ever in uh, wheelchair tennis. It changed the, the profile of wheelchair tennis in South Africa big time. And we did get recognized in the country, you know, since we are still a developing country. Uh, but it's a good result for us. I, in my family, I think I'm the special one. <laughs> also because now I get a chance to learn other people's culture and also to meet uh, other good people around the world. And also to, to go out, you know, to show the other kids in South Africa that even if you're from South Africa, you can still make it around the world. You know, you can still keep it shining around the world, no matter who you are, as long as if you keep working hard towards the goal, then all is possible. It's a good feeling again to be here in the Masters again, once again, uh, and uh, be hoping to do good uh, with my partner. Uh, it's more or less quite uh, different, uh, because in doubles I don't have to move to, to do as much as I can in, in, the, in the singles. And also, I, I, I when I plan, how I'm gonna play in the doubles, I also put my partner's strength and weaknesses. So, but when I'm playing singles, I only put mine and, you know, that's the only difference which way it differs. But uh, I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great uh, to be back and strong. I wanna say this is like our third time together, maybe, third or fourth. We've hit around a lot together, but uh, playing matches, it hasn't been as many as others, but when we have played together, it's been pretty good results. I think we both, uh, we've trained hard enough. We've, like you said, we've had some really good practices. So uh, I think we have a good chance. I started to do music when I was still uh, young. Um, they call it Ingoma. <laughs> At home, you can find us dancing, 
doing everything, even in my wedding, all the, we were just happy, we were singing, dancing, because it's something that we have, it's something that keeps us going. You know, even when I'm on tour, that's where I get time to write most of my uh, songs, because I have time in my own, in my room, because my music is mostly on how I see things, on how is my experience, on how am I meeting other people, on how do I see things in other countries, and then taking them back to my own country and then telling the people, you know, via music that, you know, if you can do this and that, maybe you can reach your goals, but then if you just sit and relax, then there's nothing's gonna happen.